Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. This is my review for Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls edition. Well, or, well, maybe I had Eternal Clicks and I don't remember. It's been a while since I played the game. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just woke up, so I'm going to have some coughing fits, so I do apologize for that. Honestly, Diablo 3 is it was my first Diablo game ever, so yes, I'm ruined because of that. I don't care. I tried the second one, and I don't care for it. Sorry. To all of Diablo fans out there for number two, I don't care for number two at all. If it played more like this one, then I'd be all for it. <coughs> but it does not, and that is unfortunate. I've not played 4 yet, and I may never play 4 at all, because there's just no point. Honestly, this game is a blast. I love it. I mostly play as the Witch Doctor, as you can see here. Because pets. Pet build is, is fun. Like, you can just, yeah. It may not be the strongest class or the strongest build in Diablo 3, but honestly, I don't care. <coughs> it's still fun. And honestly, if you've not played Diablo 3, like ever, I recommend it. I would rate this at a solid 8. It has flaws. Sure. All games do have flaws. Can I name the flaws it has? Not really, no. But it still has flaws. <coughs> I'm playing this on PC, obviously. I forgot what I played it at. I think I played it... On the... I, might, I must have played it through the Blizzard store. But I don't remember. It might, it might be the only way to play it. I don't know. I thought it was on Steam. It's not there, which is unfortunate. I wish it was. And it's not on the um, Xbox Game Pass, like number four is. So I must have only played this on Blizzard Store. So. <coughs> oh, yeah, here's a, f here's a flaw it has. PC version only has mouse and keyboard inputs. I prefer controller inputs because it's easier. But I got, I, 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 you know, I got used to it. You know, whatever. I prefer controller for games because it's easier for me to use because I am disabled, but I managed to play it. I had to take my time, but I managed to do it. <coughs> but yeah, I mean, if you're new to Diablo 4, or new to Diablo in general, and you've never played 3, I recommend it. I really do. This game is a blast. You have different classes. You have the Barbarian. You have the Wiz Doctor. A DLC adds the Necromancer, which Necromancer is not a true... In my opinion, it's not a true Necromancer. Because it... Because you have to kill things to summon out your army. There's corpses all over you. Or all, all around you. Regardless. <coughs> so. With that logic. The Necromancer should be able to summon out. Um, undead army. Without having to kill things. Because if the Wish Doctor can do it. Why can't the Necromancer do it? I mean, logic. Complete logic. I mean, think about it. If the Witch Doctor can summon out an undead army without having to kill things first, why can't the Necromancer do the same thing? So in my opinion, the Witch Doctor is the Necromancer. The Necromancer is just there. It's just there. It doesn't exist to me. I'm sorry for all the 
Necromancer fans out there, I don't care. The Necromancer is the Witch Doctor. They didn't need to add the actual class at all. I'm sorry. Like, this is my opinion. They just did it to appease fans. That's all they really did. <coughs> but, honestly, this game is fun. And if you do your build right, like I have it to where I can just spam a mana caster infinitely with no cost. And that's from an item I have on. So I can basically have my army of little undeads out forever because they come out with a mana cost. As long as my enemies are being hit by a mana cost, then my little army of undead dagger wielders they spawn out. So. <clears throat> but yeah. And this is a skill tree for number three. I don't know what four looks like. Again, I've not played four. But if you've played four and you've considered playing three, this one is good. I recommend it. But this has been my review for Diablo 3. I highly recommend it. I rate it at an 8. If I played the console version of it and I recorded it for YouTube, it would be a solid 10 because console input. I prefer console input over mouse and keyboard. Again, because I am disabled and it's harder for me to use mouse and keyboard when playing games. <coughs> Doesn't seem like it is in the video, but it was. So, again, this has been my review for Diablo 3. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and have a wonderful day.